Uh, I'm going to do a how-to test on the AMC Model 5060. We've had a couple of issues with computer communication, so I'm going to go through the test and show you how to save it and download it onto your computer. Start off by hooking up the positive lead on the positive terminal. And I'm using our standard 1 gig ohm resistor for this test. I'm going to hook up the negative terminal to the negative lead. Hook up the ground to the negative for this test right here. Just for this quick test. So now I have my unit set to 500 volts to measure mega ohms. I'm going to hit start. Then once the unit has taken the measurement, it will beep. And it's reading 1.001 gig. This unit is calibrated, so it's pretty accurate. Uh, so now, after I have taken the measurement, I'm going to hit stop. And now press the memory button. And right here, it'll tell you the test number. You can change, change it to whatever you want. I'll change this to a 2. I'm going to leave it at 1, and then change the second number to a 6, and then hit memory. And it should have saved the test point. Now I'm going to go over how to hook this up to the computer. First you have to install the software on your computer after you have done so, uh, hook up the RS-232 cable to your computer and then open the program. The data view, data analysis. You have to select your communication port and the communication rate. You should be able to find how to set that up in the instruction manual for the unit. From here you go to, you click on download. And I already had previous test points on here, but the one I, I just did right now is object one test six. So you select that and press download. Uh, from here you, hit, you can save it onto your desktop. So I'm just gonna, or onto your computer. I'm just gonna create a new folder. I'm naming it 5060. That's the part number of the unit. I'm going to save it onto here. You did select file name, whatever you want. Naming it test. And you can save. Right here, you could, there's a lot of info you could fill out for the test. Uh, for this video, I'm not going to go over filling out this information. Do you want the database just downloaded? It's asking you if you want to see the data that was just downloaded. Uh, hit yes. And this is how the data looks on your display. It, it tells you the function that it was, the date, the time, how long you ran it for, what voltage was applied, and the resistance value that the unit got. That's it.